Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and today, uh, well today, to be honest, we're not really doing much of anything really. I just thought I'd make this video to say a quick, um, Merry a slightly belated Merry Christmas to anyone. Apologies for not making the video um, really pre-Christmas, but everything's been a little bit um, hectic and chaotic here. Um, what I'm doing at the moment, actually, just a bit of a test video more than anything. I've got this um, monitor which I've got uh, set up at the moment, which I plan to use with both the Apple II and the um, 380Z here. I really, I was just making this video to see how well um, it comes out on camera, whether it's um, going to pick up too many um, banding and scan lines and be unusable or not. Uh, I've just got it um, running like the uh, load runner uh, demo at the moment on the old um, Apple II here. Um, from what I can see in my viewfinder actually, I don't think it's going to be bad at all to be able to um, use and actually be able to film what's um, showing on the monitor. So uh, that's pretty well sorted for um, the Apple II and the 380Z um, using that monitor. I've also, um, I'll just pan you up slightly, I've also dug this one out. Now uh, hopefully we can, um, this will be the same and we'll be able to film it quite nicely. Uh, what we've got here is we've got an ACAR in a monitor which would have originally been with something like um, an ACAR in um, A5000 or an A7000 something like that. This is one of two monitors that um, I got with that um, huge um, mega haul of old um, computer stuff I got last year um, from over in Sheffield. Um, quite a nice monitoring that yeah it's um, a super VJ monitor but it's also multi-sync which means that um, hope well the reason it's a multi-sync monitor is like I say it used to work run with something like an A7000 and I have an A7000 that's one of the main reasons that I uh, I wanted this monitor because it's fine in a lot of the resolutions like on the basic desktop resolution just using you can use a flat panel display a VJ monitor whatever you want but because of what the A7000 it is basically an ACAR machine um, a lot of the video modes that it actually uses are non-standard they're not standard um, VGA or SVGA modes uh, this monitor can basically it can switch to um, many 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 different um, video modes I am actually wondering whether it may be possible to um, do video modes that perhaps it wasn't originally or initially um, intended for. I'm wondering whether it might even be able to um, sync to like CGA and things, EGA even maybe, but um, certainly possibly CGA um, because obviously it's got the separate horizontal and vertical um, syncs. Um, the other thing it doesn't have, I don't think, is an intensity pin, but there's some, there should be some ways we could um, adapt around that. Uh, I really want um, a monitor which I can use with more than one system standard basically. I have been mucking about with a little circuit to be allow um, CJ to run on a um, RGB like on you know, a Skype, mon uh, Skype TV or something like that and I've not, not got it working really yet. I've got an image but it's nowhere near usable yet uh, and that's when I thought I wonder if this one might be able to um, do something so I've, I've dug this down here uh, and I'm going to keep this in my office down here where I'm going to, like I say, I have some of my um, more prized and more uh, larger computers which I struggle in the attic with. Um, other advantage of that, because it is a standard, well it will at least support standard VGA and SVGA, is through a uh, video switcher I can also, um, if we go down here and across, as you can see we have my um, what is going to be my stack of vintage computers which hopefully I will through a KVM switch I'm going to be able to use all these computers um, together through that monitor I've got um, on top you see I've done plenty of videos on this or at least a few videos on that we've got a 486 um, SX33 uh, 4 megabyte of RAM and like under an odd megabyte hard drive so nice uh, very early 90s kind of specification Underneath that we've got a um, Pentium, um, I think it's a Pentium 120, about a gigabyte hard drive, I think it's got either 8 or 16 gig, uh, megabytes, sorry not gigabytes, megabytes of um, RAM, CD-ROM drive in it. Um, so that's, you know, around our mid-90s. And then at the bottom there we've actually got the last um, computer I ever um, built myself 
which is a um, AMD um, T-Bird, um, Thunderbird, um, AMD Thunderbird processor. Uh, I think it's got like, I think it's got 128 meg of RAM in it, um, 1 gigahertz processor. Um, I think the hard drive in it's actually dead. Um, the, the computer itself actually is um, actually dead. The uh, it was from that time where the motherboards were um, suffering from um, bad electro electrolytic capacity disease, and um, just about every electrolytic in that thing's domed. So um, it doesn't boot anymore. But I I kind of keep it because that's the computer that I built like, before I went to university, and I used that computer through all the years I was at um, university. So um, that's the only reason it hasn't got uh, thrown away actually. I will do something with um, that one, but uh, like, that's literally just up here at the moment because it was in the cellar and it was starting to get rusty and horrible down there. So I thought, no, I'll bring it up and uh, put it in the workshop. Sorry, put it in the office. Um, so my plan is that my um, Acorn A7000 will go on top of there as well, and they will all share um, a KVM and be able to be displayed on that um, on that Acorn monitor. Above that we have um, something else I've dug out of storage. We have my... Uh, oops, we're slipping down on this crappy tripod. We have my... Um, this is my IBM um, 5150. Again, um, that huge lot of um, retro computer stuff I got last year. Uh, one of the other main reasons I went for it was because of this original IBM monitor. Because that's the one thing I was missing to complete this setup. I do have the original keyboard for it, but unfortunately I can't find it at the, at the moment. My attic is still in, uh, basically, my attic workshop, um, you can't get through the trap door at the moment. I'm still in a major house tidying mode. Um, which brings me on to the other um, nice good thing, which is um, finally, um, Amanda, my girlfriend, has um, got a UK visa. Uh, she um, called me um, the other day to say that, uh, unfortunately not, you know, it came um, after Christmas, so, um, it literally came like uh, two days after Christmas, so she got it through the post, and she has been issued with a, um, a two-year multiple entry uh, UK visa, so that means, uh, great for us, I mean, it means that uh, we're not messing about and again for the next two years, we can actually, uh, she can come over here when she wants. Obviously, I have a multiple entry visa for China, so that's not um, an issue, but I can go over there whenever I want. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, spend a little bit more time um, together. With any luck, um, providing we can get the flight sorted out, she should be over in the UK on the uh, 7th of January. And um, we're going to spend a few weeks together in the UK and then go um, possibly on have a little uh, holiday in Turkey or uh, somewhere else in the world for a week before she has to fly back to China and obviously I have to uh, get on with my work. So uh, yeah, that's um, that's my updates really for um, for the moment. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's a massive thing um, having that visa sorted so a commander can um, actually come over here now. And um, I am carrying on, car uh, continuing on with the uh, massive house uh, res renovations at the moment and tidying everything up. One of the problems was with uh, when I was thinking she wasn't going to get a visa um, at the moment and we'd have to reapply and everything. Uh, I kind of stopped doing all the house tidying and um, moved on with other things thinking it'd be later in the year she was coming. So uh, <laughs> I've now got uh, just over a week to basically finish doing um, all the tidying up and sorting out in the house, getting various other things sorted out before she gets here. So there's probably not going to be many videos coming out of me. Um, uh, there might be there might be one or two, but um, if I don't make many videos for perhaps for um, the rest of January, you will understand that I'm going to be um, I'm going to be busy with other things. But um, I said as soon as she goes back um, home, normal service with my videos and whatever will um, will resume. That's not to say I won't make any videos, but uh, because I have to uh, I have to make my priorities out and everything. Um, and Amanda is like my main priority. So anyway, um, I just thought I'd put up this little, um, this quick little video. Anyway, it's only a little ten minutes, so that's um, shorty for me, really. 
um, just to say hope everyone had a, um, a great Christmas I hope everyone's going to have a um, fantastic new year and um, hopefully I will uh, make a few videos in the new uh, early in the new year um, so um, stick out for that so I hope you enjoyed that I know it wasn't my normal uh, my normal videos but uh, again thanks for watching and goodbye